today we are going to study the first chapter of history of 10th standard historiography development in the west tradition of historiography modern historiography development of scientific perspective in europe and historiography notable scholars in europe historical research writing and studies are carried out with the an objective of understanding the chronology of the past events and their interconnections so historical research historical writings and historical studies that are continued that are done with the purpose with an objective of understanding the chronology chronology means uh, are chronological sequence of the past events past events ka chronological sequence we can understand by the study of historical research historical writing and historical studies and their interconnections means Uh, historical research or historical writing or historical studies are carried out with the purpose of understanding the chronological sequence of the past events past event ka chronological sequence kaisa hai what is the inter what are the interconnections amongst them unke beech ke interconnections kaise how they are linked to, uh, to each other and this process of study this process of study historical research or historical writing is a continuous process it does not stop it is a continuous process in the physical and natural science the empirical method laboratory method of experiments and observation is used to verify the available knowledge you all know as you are the science students you know that in laboratory we have the experiments and we find find out the observed and examination and we find out the solutions right we write the laws with the help of the experiments so in physical and natural science means the chemistry biology physics these are science in physical science and natural science we use the empirical method what is the name of the method empirical method what is it laboratory method that of experiments and observation this method is used to verify the available knowledge whatever the knowledge is available wo knowledge available hai usko verify karne ke liye scrutinize karne ke liye this empirical method is used this method allows formulating law with the help of empirical method we can formulate the laws and these laws remain true irrespective of time and space means it does not have the foundation of the time or the space they remain true they remain true the laws that are formulated with the help of the empirical method they remain true either in irrespective of irrespective of the time and space means bina time koi kisi at any time anywhere any time or anywhere if these formulas are tested which are created which laws are created with the help of the empirical method they are true those laws can be tested and proved repeatedly the these laws which are created with the help of the empirical method they can be tested and proved repeatedly bar bar hum inko test kar sakte hain bar bar hum usko prove bhi kar sakte hain so in historical research it may not be possible to use the method of laboratory experiments and observation but in historical research the empirical method may not be possible to use means this empirical method the method of laboratory experiments observation is useless in the historical research why why it is useless for historical research then this is so because we are not present in the historical time and space because we were not when any incident took place in the past we were not present at that time and that space to watch to observe and examine the event right is that right so we were not present at that time that's why or space that's why we we cannot observe that 
and the historical events cannot be recreated okay as experiments can be repeated experiments can be repeated hum unko repeat kar sakte hain but historical events cannot be recreated not repeated unko hum repeat nahi kar sakte hain also in history it is not possible to formulate laws in history law also cannot be formulated as is natural science or physical science we can create the laws but in history we cannot create the laws we cannot formulate the laws and these laws that remain true irrespective of time and space such laws we cannot create in history that remain true irrespective of time and space means koi bhi time कोई भी जगह हो वहां पर वो लॉज हमेशा ट्रू होते हैं ऐसे लॉज हम हिस्ट्री में नहीं बना सकते देन हाउ टू स्टडी हिस्ट्री देन हाउ टू डू द हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च सो टू बिगिन द हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च और हिस्टोरिकल राइटिंग और हिस्टोरिकल स्टडी वी नीड एन एक्सपर्ट हमको एक्सपर्ट की जरूरत होती है हु नोज द लैंग्वेज एंड स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ द हिस्टोरिकल डॉक्यूमेंट मीन्स the language and the scripts ancient language and the ancient scripts of the historical document should be known by the expert such experts we want so that we can read and understand the meaning of those languages and scripts so taki hum un scripts ke un languages ko hum pad sake aur unka hum meaning samajh sake aise expert ki zarurat hoti hai then we can study or do the historical research also the experts can examine the authenticity of the document these experts can check the can examine the authenticity of the document reality of the document is it real or fake it can be testified it can be examined by the experts by using the criteria such as lettering style of the era of the period author style of writing how what was the style of the author manufacturing date of that document uh, using the carbon dating method and type of paper and stamps of authority king or dynastic whatever the authority would be there during that uh, documents the means the uh, document would be the uh, from that uh, period of the right uh, king or the dynastic ruler so that stamp of authority with these uh, criteria by using this uh, criteria the expert can examine the authenticity of the document so we need an expert we need an expert why do we need the expert so that we can read and understand the languages and the scripts of the documents as well as can examine the authenticity authenticity of the document by using the criteria with the help of the experts so we need the experts for that such documents is further scrutinized by a historian with the help of the relevant relevant historical references and afterward such documents are examined critically examined by the historian for the study of or the research with the help of available knowledge available historical references inke help se historian in documents ko scrutinize karta hai critically examine karta hai so that he could continue his historical research or historical writing or studies so some methods have been given here for the historical research these methods this wave chart is given here so some historical research methods are there examining relevant references of the available historical information whatever the historical information is available uh, regarding that historical information whatever the references are historical references are there examining those related references collecting historical information highlighting the process that lead to historical transitions historical information कलेक्ट करना कलेक्टिंग द हिस्टोरिकल इंफॉर्मेशन दैट हाईलाइट द प्रोसेस टू लीड द हिस्टोरिकल ट्रांजेक्शन मीन्स हाईलाइटिंग द प्रोसेस दैट लीड द हिस्टोरिकल ट्रांजेक्शन मीन हिस्टोरिकल ट्रांजेक्शन 
जिस प्रोसेस से होती है उन चीज उसके बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन हिस्टोरिकल इंफॉर्मेशन कलेक्ट करना कैरिंग आउट कंपेरेटिव एनालिसिस एंड आफ्टर After fi- finding out the historical transitions, the process, understanding the pro- process of the historical transitions, carrying out comparative analysis, उसका comparative analysis करना. Then another method for the historical research or narrative, writing narratives, understanding the references regarding time and space of the given historical event. Whatever the given historical event is over there, so understand the references. रिगार्डिंग द टाइम एंड स्पेस ऑफ दैट हिस्टोरिकल रिफेंट जो हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट दिया गया है उससे टाइम और स्पेस से रिकॉर्डेड जो भी रिफरेंसेस है उनको समझना एंड ऑल्सो वेरियस कंसेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क यूजिंग हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च मेथड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वेरियस कंसेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क यूज इन हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च मेथड इनको समझना इन this is also one of the historical research method or writing historical narrative then another formulating relative questions in view of historical reference when we study the historical reference we uh, examine the historical reference we have to create the relevant questions usse related questions formulate karna formulate karna create karna formulating hypothesis hypothesis formulate karna then critically examining the of various source of history and uh, various sources of history oral written or uh, whatever material sources we have to examine them critically so these are the historical research um, research methods for writing the historical narratives method of various disciplines are also useful in historical research if we are doing the historical research uh, we, methods of different disciplines are there like archaeology archaeological science uh, archival science manuscriptology epigraphy study of inscriptions analysis of lettering style linguistics numismatic study of coins genealogy study of lineage such type of disciplines are there and whatever the uh, whatever the methods are used to study these uh, disciplines all these uh, methods are also used in the historical research now we are going first 1.1 tradition of historiography how the what was the tradition of the historiography how would be how would mm, Uh, how would be the historiography written so we have to understand this first we have learned about the historiographical research method critically examining the historical sources and writing the historical narrative so we have learned what we have learned historical research methods and critically examining the historical sources whatever the sources are their historical sources we have to critically examine them research methods के बारे में हमने सीखा क्रिटिकल एग्जामिंग हिस्टोरिकल सोर्सेस के बारे में हमने सीखा राइटिंग द हिस्टोरिकल नैरेटिव्स और हिस्टोरिकल नैरेटिव्स लिखना द राइटिंग ऑफ क्रिटिकल हिस्टोरिकल नैरेटिव्स इज नोन एज हिस्टोग्राफी दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द हिस्टोग्राफी व्हाट इज हिस्टोग्राफी द राइटिंग ऑफ क्रिटिकल हिस्टोरिकल नैरेटिव्स ओके राइटिंग ऑफ क्रिटिकल हिस्टोरिकल नैरेटिव इज नोन और एज हिस्टोग्राफी इसी को बोलते हैं हिस्टोग्राफी मीन्स राइटिंग हिस्ट्री दैट इज क्रिटिकली बट बट इट इज क्रिटिकली राइटिंग हिस्ट्री इज नोन एज द हिस्टोग्राफी अ स्कॉलर हु राइट सच ए नैरेटिव इज नोन एज अ हिस्टोरियन और ऐसा स्कॉलर जो ऐसे नैरेटिव क्रिटिकल हिस्टोरिकल नैरेटिव लिखते हैं दे आर नोन एज हिस्टोरियन the historian cannot include every past event in his narrative if uh, one historian uh, historian has been taken as an example he cannot include every past event in his narrative wo apne narrative mein pure ke pure past event include nahi kar sakta he cannot include all of the past events in the, his narratives then the inclusion and interpretation of historical events by the historian often depends on the conceptual framework adopted by him means what conceptual framework he has adopted what in which framework he wants to work on which uh, past events he has focused 
this what he writes in his narrative it depends on his conceptual framework his style of writing it is determined by that conceptual framework and in this way his style of writing is also determined by that conceptual framework what kind of concept he has chosen to write the historical narrative okay that determines his conceptual means right, style of writing also so हिस्टोरियन सारी पास्ट के इवेंट्स अपने नैरेटिव में इंक्लूड नहीं कर सकता है सो इंक्लूजन ऑफ एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स जो भी हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स इंटरप्रिट कर रहा है एक्सप्लेन कर रहा है या इंक्लूड कर रहा है इन द हिस्टोरियन डिपेंड्स ऑन द कंसेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क एडॉप्टेड बाय हिम हिस्टोरियन जो कंसेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क अपने आप के लिए अडॉप्ट करता है राइटिंग के लिए अडॉप्ट करता है अकॉर्डिंग टू उसी के हिसाब से ही इंटरप्रिट्स द हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स इंटरप्रिट ही इंक्लूड्स द हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स इन हिज नैरेटिव अपने नैरेटिव में वही हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स वो इंक्लूड करता है और उन्हीं को एक्सप्लेन करता है इन दिस वे दिस कंसेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क डिटरमाइंस ही इज अ स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग ऑल्सो उसके स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग को उसका ये कंसेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क ही डिसाइड करता है the tradition of writing historical narrative that is historiography so another one line is over here what is historiography the tradition of writing historical narrative that is historiography was not a prevalent in ancient societies of the world what does it mean means in ancient society the people did not used to write history they they did not write the history there was not a tradition of writing history historical narratives there was not a tradition of historiography however in the ancient societies there was not a style of writing history history likhne ki style nahi thi it was not prevalent exist nahi thi however that does not mean that they were not aware of historical time or were not eager to know about it इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि वो हिस्टोरिकल टाइम के बारे में अवेयर नहीं थे या उन्हें उसके बारे में एक्साइटमेंट नहीं था दे वर नॉट ईगर टू नो अबाउट देयर हिस्ट्री दे डिड नॉट हैव एनी अवेयरनेस अबाउट द हिस्टोरिकल दे इट डज नॉट मीन दैट दे डिड नॉट देयर वाज नॉट अ ट्रेडिशन ऑफ राइटिंग हिस्टोरिकल नेरेटिव दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट दे वर अन अबाउट द हिस्टोरिकल टाइम्स एंड वेयर दे डिड नॉट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट और क्यूरसिटी इन स्पाइट ऑफ दैट ancient people also felt the need of passing on the stories of life of the life and valor of the ancestors to the next generation ancient people also felt ancient people ko bhi lagta tha the need of passing the stories of the life and valor of the ancestors to the next generation ki next generations ko unke ancestors ki life stories braveries ki stories wo नेक्स्ट जनरेशन में पास ऑन होनी चाहिए जानी चाहिए इसकी जरूरत एंशियन पीपल को भी होती थी मींस एंशियन पीपल आल्सो फेल दैट दे द स्टोरी लाइफ स्टोरीज एंड द वैल्यू स्टोरीज ऑफ द एंसेस्टर शुड बी शुड पास ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन देन हाउ डिड दे डू दैट हाउ डिड दे अचीव दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव ये ऑब्जेक्टिव वो अचीव कैसे करते थे देन एंशियन कम्युनिटीज ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड यूज वेरियस मीन्स for this purpose to achieve this uh, to pass on the life uh, stories of the life and valor of the ancestors to the next generations the ancient communities used the means like cave painting storytelling singing songs and ballads etc so aise means aise ways through these ways cave painting storytelling singing songs and ballads it's such such ways such various ways were used to pass on the story history to the next generation so the in this way though they did not have the tradition of writing historical narratives but they used to pass on the history of them through these ways in rasto se wo apni history next generation ko pass on karte the these traditional means are looked upon as the source of history in the modern historiography and today in the modern historiography these traditional means of cave painting storytelling singing songs and ballads etc these are looked as the sources of history in the modern historiography 
मॉडर्न हिस्टोग्राफी में आज इनको हम हिस्टोरिकल रिसोर्सेस मानते हैं सोर्सेस मानते हैं 1.2 मॉडर्न हिस्टोग्राफी हाउ इज द मॉडर्न हिस्टोग्राफी फोर मेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मॉडर्न हिस्टोग्राफी देर आर फोर मेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द मॉडर्न हिस्टोग्राफी ओके सो द फर्स्ट वन इज इट्स मेथड इज बेस्ड ऑन साइंटिफिक प्रिंसिपल्स इट बिगिन्स विद द इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेवेंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो मॉडर्न फोर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द मॉडर्न हिस्टोग्राफी मेथड इज बेस्ड ऑन साइंटिफिक प्रिंसिपल साइंटिफिक प्रिंसिपल्स पर बेस्ड मेथड है एंड बिगिन विद द इनफॉर्मे फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रिलिवेंट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एवेलेबल हिस्टोरिकल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द हिस्टोरिकल इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेवेंट क्वेश्चन आर फॉर्म सेकेंड दीज क्वेश्चन आर एंथ्रोपोसेंट्रिक How should be? How are these questions? Anthropocentric means these questions are about the deeds of the members of ancient human societies of a particular period. Means particular period ke members and member of the ancient human societies, society, human societies ke ancient uh, ancient human societies ke members ke deeds ke baare mein ye questions hua karte the. History does not suggest any interrelation between the divine and human deeds. One is the thing is to remember that history does not suggest history कभी suggest नहीं करता है any interrelation between divine and human deeds human deeds और divine भगवान और मानवीय कृत्य के बीच में कोई relation है interrelation है divine और human deeds के बारे में ऐसा कभी history नहीं बताता है third answers to these questions are supported by reliable evidences with the help of the um, faithful evidences these answer these questions are answered and the fourth one is that history presents a graph of mankind's journey with the help of the past human dates so history presents a graph history ek graph present karta hai kis cheez ka that the journey of the mankind जर्नी ऑफ दी मैनकाइंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द पास्ट ह्यूमन डीड्स पास्ट ह्यूमन डीड्स की हेल्प से मैनकाइंड की जर्नी कैसे हुई इसका ग्राफ हमें हिस्ट्री प्रेजेंट करता है सो इट इज सेड दैट द मॉडर्न हिस्टोग्राफी विद अबो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक हैज इट्स रूट्स इन द एंशियंट ग्रीक हिस्टोरिकल राइटिंग सो इन दिस वे इट इज सेड ऐसा कहा जाता है दैट दैट द रूट्स ऑफ द मॉडर्न हिस्टोग्राफी अलॉन्ग विद along with the above characteristics the roots of the modern historiography lies in greek historical writings ancient greek historical writings history is originally a greek term history ek kya hai ek greek word hai ek greek term hai herodotus the greek historian of the 5th century bc actually he is known as the father of history also herodotus is known as the father of history so he was the greek historian of the 5th century bc used it first for the his book entitled the histories aur inhone is word ka pehli baar use kiya apni book ka naam likhne ke liye that titled the histories means the herodotus has written had written the book called his the histories so uh, before continuing the 1.3 we have to see another do you know this on the, this page that the earliest inscription this picture is of the earliest inscription in the louvre museum in france this this uh, inscription this stone inscription is in the louvre museum in france the above picture shows a fragment of the earliest inscription this is a piece of the earliest inscription here you can see some pictures are there the, a forward marching file of soldier right these are the soldiers these are the soldier here are some soldiers also holding shields these are uh, they are holding the shields in their hands and spears spears bhi inke haathon mein spears is seen the general is in the front and this general is the front of the आर्मी इस आर्मी के सोल्जर्स के सबसे आगे एक जनरल है द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स कैन बी ट्रेस बैक टू सिविलाइजेशन इन मेसोपोटामिया 
this after the study of this earliest inscription it is seen that it is the it is observed that the tradition of recording historical events in such a way are traced back to sumer civilization in mesopotamia Meso from mesopotamia there was a sumer civilization and this inscription is belonging to sumer civilization names names of sumerian kings and the stories of battles fought by them have been preserved in various inscriptions such type of various inscriptions are found there over there in the city of you are right so such inscriptions are found over there and sumer uh, names of sumerian kings and their stories of the battles fought by them they are preserved in such various inscriptions the earliest inscription shown above dates back to 4500 bc and this earliest inscription this is traced back it is back dated in about 4500 bce before common era this ye 4500 bce ka purana ye inscription hai it records a battle fought between two kingdom isme do kingdom ke beech ki battle ko record kiya gaya hai it is now displayed at the louvre museum in france aur ye earliest inscription jo hai now it is presented displayed in the at louvre museum in france so thank you for today thank you thank you keep watching my videos subscribe my channel give like and for the next notifications please 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 press bell icon thank you